All right, so now that we've installed a few rows of the closed valley, I'm going to show you how you tear it out on a repair. So basically, you want to take a couple to two, three slates out on each side. So first, you want to mark them. So you go 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, 2E, 3A, 3B, 3C, 3D. And then on this side, you're going to mark it also. So I put this extra slate on just so that you could see. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, C1, C2. John is carefully taking the nails out to avoid breaking the slate. Probably the best tool to use would be a pry bar. You stack them in order from the valley slates out and from the top to the bottom. That way they are in order when you put them back in. Even if you break a slate, you want to keep it because it has the correct angle and you can use it to mark your replacement slate. When using the slate ripper to remove the hidden nails, you slide it up under the slate and hook it onto the nail that you want to pull out and you pull it out. Sometimes you may need to use your hammer to break it free. Here you can see the stack of slate in the order it's being removed. It's a good practice to try and remove as few slates as possible along the valley to prevent extra work. Here John is using the slate ripper again to remove the hidden nail. Now we've torn out all of the slates on both sides of the valley so we can access the valley metal. Now we can take out all of these cleats and remove the old valley metal. We'll put new underlayment in and a new valley and then put the slate back. Remember at the bottom, the very first course you won't have numbered because it was hidden. So you'll put the starters in and then you'll lay your slates right in matching up with what's in the row. Now, a few of the slates would have broken, and that's okay. You'll take those broken slates and use as a template to cut a new one. And uh, that's how you do a valley.